What is up, world? I got another one for you. Good one. It's going to help all you Evo guys out there. It's something I had to learn uh, by myself because I tried to tag Mitsubishi to help me in. And um, this is an older car. There are newer cars out there, so um, maybe it's something that they didn't want to to get into. I don't know. But um, if you have a Mitsubishi and you have regular racing seats and you do want to put Recaros, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how to install them, programming the SRS, everything, because there's a little bit of programming. You have to like pin the VIN number to the car to the actual seats, and then we're, I'm going to show you how to program the seat uh, sensor, the passenger seat sensor. So uh, here we are. So this is what we're looking at. So here we are working on the ultra violet evo so yeah no seats they had the factory seats i think they're all the way up there and um yeah so what do i got here beautiful uh, minty set of recaro seats in there so first step, i gotta get it in without messing up the door jams do a little prep work over here put on some plastic might have to take out the steering wheel it's really easy when the steering wheel's out I don't know. We'll see. See how I feel. You do want to go through the front. You fold the seats all the way forward. I'll show you how. Let me get it all set up. Be right back. All right. So this is how it has to look. You have to pretty much roll the seat all the way forward, and then try not to mess with the door jam. So there's like a weird angle. We have to like pick it up and then kind of get it into here. I'm gonna lay down some. Uh, couple of those just so it doesn't hook it just in case but I'm pretty sure I've done this a couple times and uh, yeah here we go wish me luck all right take out the steering wheel way easier wish me luck all right she's in no scratches so you gotta put the it, you have to like pick up the seat and you put the headrest in and then you kind of work the brackets and then we gotta take out the of course we gotta take out the steering wheel but it's in time to bolt it up plug it up so, four bolts, and then you're gonna hook up your, your wire harness somewhere. Hook up to there. That's what we're gonna do. All right, last one. All tight, put my plastics, and we are all set. All right, seats are in, steering wheel's in, all the plastics. Now it's passenger side, here we go. And we are all done. Sorry for the compressor. It always comes on at the worst times. A right, couple of key items that you will need to pull this off. You'll need Recaro seats. The more complete the better. So you, they have to have pretty much everything. What is everything? The brackets, not really, but um, you gotta have the SRS all hooked up. This side. Uh, you gotta have the occupancy sensor. Yeah, just find a minty set, uh, <laughs> a minty set of Recaros. Uh, they probably won't come with the amplifier because the amplifier is bolted at the bottom, and they like to sell, sell that separate. But it's cool. They can have the amplifier as long as it comes with all the airbag components. So, complete set of Recaros. Then you're gonna need a Maxi MP08. This is just a basic diagnostic um, uh, scanner. So, back in the day, it used to be expensive. I end up paying hmm, about 800 bucks for it back in the day. It shouldn't be that much anymore. Probably pick it for like 500 bucks. So here we go. Why would I be this looks weird? And why would I be doing this? Um, I actually tried to have Mitsubishi do this, and they were stumped. So they were trying to make me feel like this was an old car that I need to trade it in. They wanted me to leave it there for a couple weeks, which I didn't have. You know, for you know, when we build cars, these things don't have insurance on it, so. Nobody wants to leave a car like that. So I figured it out. Um, I had this and the hardest part that nobody knows is um, putting the weight. So here we go. So here we're gonna do, let's go over everything. Her up, put right here in the steering wheel. All right, yeah, five speed model. No, diagnostic, auto scan. It has a couple codes, so it's gonna scan everything. So you see, so that's how the dashboard looks right now. All right. All right. So we're gonna do a quick race and see what stays. 
Sorry for the glare. All right, SRS stayed, AYC, air conditioner passed. Sweet. I'm having AC issues, but we'll figure that out. All right, so let's start this bad boy up and see what is still there. Oh my gosh. Sweet. All good. So it's just the airbag. So I'm gonna take it off. This is where you want to pay attention. So we're gonna escape. Oh yeah. Okay. It's hot. Hot day in Florida today. Diagnosis. A lot of people go to SRS, but you don't want to go to SRS. You want to go to OCM. That's Occupant Control Module. So, you go to right there. You go to Special Functions, Zero Calibration and System Test. Got the good old Bowflex at 50. We're going to put it on the seat. All right, it's on there. Alright. Alright, so I try to do it legit. I'm gonna show you how I did it on my green car. I don't know what the hell's going on. So seat's empty. Alright. All good. Now watch this. I'm just gonna put my hand and pick myself up. That should be enough weight. Test pass C. Look at that. Look at that. I had to use my body weight. The, the weight didn't work, but all right, I'm back to zero. There's no weight on it. We're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. See, there's nothing on it. Test pass. All procedures completed. Please erase stored DTCs for set during the test in OCM and SRS airbags. So, SRS fault is on. What we don't want is the OCM. The OCM should be clear. OCM. So we have three faults. And we're going to see if it resets. Right, so we're going to click erase. See what's going on. It erased. It erased. All good. So look at that. No codes. Now, we're going to do a quick start. Look at that. No codes. scan see if any codes come up Ooh, SRS is straight OCM passed I'm over here staring at the, the GoPro but all good all good Email me. Like I said, I tried to get Mitsubishi to do it. They didn't want to do it. They gave me the runaround. Uh, I had the tools. I just didn't know how to, to do it. And uh, pushing buttons, I figured it out. So, uh, like I said, this is not a secret. And I share all my secrets and all my knowledge with my evil boys. So, hope you liked it. Um, it's hot in Florida. Uh, you know, like the saying goes, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna try to do some more tutorials. I got a lot of cool stuff we could do to these cars. So thank you for watching, and like I said, any questions, drop a comment, and I will be gladly to help you out. All right, take care.